Today is technically day two for us here in Inlay Lake, but yesterday it rained a ton, which actually gave us a great excuse just to relax and recover from the night bus. And now today, we woke up at four this morning because we have hired a boat to take us around and explore the lake. We were greeted with an early morning rainstorm right as we got on the lake. It took us about 20 minutes to get down the canal from Young Shui where we're staying out onto the lake here and after it rained for a little while we were greeted by the traditional fishermen that are famous for paddling with one leg. The Intha people used to paddle that way in order to stand up above the reeds and the plants on the lake. Now it's mostly for photos but it's still really cool to see how they used to do it. So we came out for the sunrise this morning but it's not looking like that's going to happen for us today. The sun is somewhere back there. After taking a little bit of a detour through one of the floating gardens, we've come here to a silversmith shop. Oh, cool. We're leaving the silversmith shop now. I didn't really know what to expect, but it was really cool to get to see the process of how they hand make the jewelry. It seems as though our tour's got a pretty set program. We just stopped off at what seems to be a pretty touristy market, but we're gonna try and see if we can't find some coffee. So we kept wandering a bit from where we were dropped off, and it seems like now we have found the real market. We were walking through the market and came up on a lady who was just frying these up and I couldn't walk by without buying some. These are fresh off the fryer, very hot, crunchy on the outside, gooey on the inside. I'm not sure what's in it, but I like it a lot. Also not sure what's inside of this. We got a little distracted going through the market, but now it's finally time for some coffee. Right next to the market is a beautiful pagoda that we're going to check out before we head back to the boat. That was a fun stop. I could have wandered around that market for hours, but we are back in the boat and moving to the next stop. Lake is one of the few places where you can still see traditional lotus weaving and we stopped at one of the centers to check it out. tourist destination with the set rue and the souvenir shops, but it also has a really authentic feel to it. There's about 70,000 Intha people who live in and around Inlay Lake, and one of my favorite parts has just been riding through all of the villages, 
seeing the homes on stilts and all the local people. My favorite part was definitely watching Jess try to sneak a picture of a young monk while he wasn't looking, <laughs> only to turn around and have the monk sneak a picture of her when she wasn't looking. Apparently you have to pay to bring a camera in here. We've come up the river to the Shui Indian Pagoda, which is a group of over a thousand different stupa, some of which are in complete ruins. We're walking that way now, and I'm really excited to explore the area. The main pagoda is pretty cool, but honestly, I've really enjoyed just wandering around all the different ruined stupas. We paid 18,000 kiat to come on this full day boat tour, and it was an additional 4,000 to come up the river and make the stop at this pagoda. Definitely, it was worth the stop. I really enjoyed wandering through all the stupas and seeing the contrast between the ones that were falling to the ground versus the ones that were shiny and pristine. Made it back to the boat dock. this morning were definitely all for show to get tips from tourists. It was cute and all, but we just came up on a group of the real Intha fishermen and it was so crazy cool. They legit stand on one leg and row with their foot. He blew me a kiss! in a boat! We have made it back from a full nearly 12 hour day. Inlay Lake is absolutely beautiful. You have the lake set between these mountains. Honestly, the boat drive alone would have been well worth the trip, but then you add in the people, the floating villages, the way of life. It was so different, so unique, so beautiful.